Good morning. Merry Flossmas. Happy Flossmas. Day four, December 4th, 2018. And to start off my day today, I'm going to take my dog for a little walk down to the post box. And I'm really hoping that a couple packages that I've been waiting for have come in. It is a beautiful day. It feels like the sun hasn't really been shining very much in the last two months. So it's really nice to get outside. The walk to the mailbox isn't very far, but it's about all that my senior retriever can, can manage at the moment. So um, let's go to the mailbox. home again and my package one of my packages arrived of two that I've been waiting for and the one that has arrived is from Bohemian Findings I've mentioned them before this is the place from they're out in Prince Edward Island Canada where I order my charms from that I send out with the bags and with the postal strike I've been waiting for this package for a while and I don't even remember what I ordered so I thought it might be fun to open it up and share with you what I ordered so that you can see the charms that I've forgotten that I ordered as well. I can't be the only one that hates these packing peanuts. They're always so staticky and they stick to everything and you can't even take them off your hands. Okay, so let's see. They always, they pack okay, package opened and we have a little cupcake and a pineapple, a find joy in the journey. Oh, I like that one a lot. Uh, and some Christmas trees. So multiple bat, multiple charms in each bag. And I also ordered a bunch of lobster claws and jump rings because I'm almost out. So these should do me for a while. All right, well, that was fun. I'm glad they finally arrived. Now I can start using a couple of different ones cute. Okay, onwards. Time for coffee. Because today is Tuesday, it is a busy sewing and teaching day for me today. So before I get started with my work day, I've got my coffee and I've got my wool and I've got my current project. I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes and I'm going to drink my coffee and try to knit just a few stitches into my into my shawl before I start work. This is um, a shawl by Katja. Uh, her last name starts with a G, and it's it's Gorba. I want to say Gorbachev. I will look that up, and I'll I'll make a I'll I'll do it. <clears throat> Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. I will put the information in the drop down box below. The shawl is called Meet Me in the Middle. And I've been working on it for a little while, since the summer, I think, and I'm almost done. I'm on the last section. I'm making my third section a little bit larger than the actual pattern calls for. And so I'm going to just work away on this for 10 minutes. So here we go. <laughs> That's it, my 10 minutes is up. I almost did half a row. So I almost did, there's where I got to, and halfway is this center line here. So almost a halfway, but my 10 minutes is up. So time to put it down and get to work. I have had people ask if I would share my sewing space. Um, 
probably not. At least not right now. I'm in the process of, let me just bring you up a little bit here. Oop, hello. I'm in the process of moving a lot of stuff around. My sewing area is in my living room that of course I share with the rest of the family. And Evertote has expanded and so has my stuff. And so my stuff has sort of taken over the entire living room. So we're in the process of moving my excess things that need to be stored up into the area where I teach piano. So we've been moving some furniture around, we've been moving some boxes around, and everything is kind of in upheaval at the same time. We're also preparing to host the uh, staff Christmas party for my husband's business. We're preparing to host that Christmas party here on Friday night. So I have a lot of work to do. So it is in no way, shape, or form ready to share with floss tube. So I do apologize, but chances of me showing off my sewing space at the moment, I'm not very proud of how it looks because, well, it's functional at the moment, which is what I need it to be, but it's not, it's not pretty. So everything, you know, needs to be tucked away in neat, tidy little packages and, and look a little more, uh, well, not all over my living room at the moment. So anyway, my 10 minutes is up. Time to get to work. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, it's lunchtime around here. So I'm taking a few minutes just to record a little bit of video for my Flossmas ornament of the day. So if you remember, I had some difficulty yesterday deciding which one I was going to do. And I went with the Christmas morning ornament by the Stitcher Hood. This is from the 2012 ornament, uh, just cross stitch ornament book and page, what page is that? 47, page 47. So here's where I got to. So a little bit of a start. The fabric is Picture This Plus 28 Count Lugana in a the Cyprium colorway. And I made a little start on my tree. So this design only has two colors in it, and these are the two colors that I'm using: Victorian pine boughs and burgundy, whoops, burgundy ribbons. So those are the two colors that will be on the design. So, started, done and dusted. Also, not only that, I have all of my information written down on my organizational printout. So, this can now get tucked away in my project bag with everything else. Okay, so that's day three, done. I don't have to go very far for day four because I'm actually doing an ornament from the exact same page. Over here to the left, you can see this really sweet reindeer and the cardinals in the branches. So this one is by Blue Ribbon Designs and it's called Roaming Reindeer. So that's today's ornament of the day. And I'm stitching this on a 40 count remnant that was sent to me from x Designs. It was a sample that she sent me along with my order uh, a fabric a few months back. So it's a sample of 40 count. I believe the name of I, I believe the name of this was hot cocoa, either hot chocolate or hot cocoa. I, I'm i pretty sure. I, I really, I have no memory and I couldn't find a tag. It was in my drawer. It's beautiful. It needed using and I think it's pretty perfect for this design. So as usual with this ornament, as with the ones previously, I'll be using the threads from my Victorian motto, Victorian Christmas uh, sampler pack. It wasn't really a sampler pack. I don't remember the name of it, but you know what I mean. I tell you about it every day. So those Victorian motto threads have been really, I'm, I'm thrilled to bits that I'm using them so consistently and they're just working really well for everything. I love most of the ornaments on these two pages. And that's rare for me. Normally with these ornament magazines, I might find one or two on a page that I like, but I like most of the ones here. So, you know, fair warned, you're gonna see a few more. Anyway, all right. 
And the sirens have started back up again. As you can see, nothing has changed. Let's just wait for them to go by. I have a funny feeling that our emergency services have changed their routes around in and around the city because both my husband and I have noticed an uptick in sirens going by over the last month or so. So I have a feeling that uh, some routes have been changed, possibly because of construction or traffic patterns, maybe things like that. So it seems to be a rare day now that I record a video and I don't have siren noise in the background. But really, when I'm not recording it, I don't seem to notice it as much as when I'm talking to you. So one more peek of yesterday's progress. There it is. And now I'm off to finish up some sewing this afternoon and I have some students arriving from 3.30 onwards into the evening. Tuesday's my big teaching night. So I don't expect to get too many stitches in tonight, but I will make a start. And it's just a small one, so it shouldn't take too long. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow for Flossmas Day 5. Happy stitching!